Hi everyone, so I'm just looking at the, the first bit on the modelling pack. Um, it's actually now down as a self-study, so I'll have a quick zip through that. Please ignore, if you hear it, the band in the background, because there's a band upstairs um, practising. So every so often I keep hearing random stuff. And my fingers aren't working. Why is that not working? Right, okay. We'll see if this works all right. So it talks about mathematical modelling, the process of describing real life situations mathematically and making predictions. So it says, whenever you attempt a real life context, um, so it could be done, so you have done this using exponentials to predict population size, using differentiation to work out rates of change in height. So this one's kind of like another arm, but it's looking at polynomials and trig models. So let's start off with a linear one. So straight lines. So we know <laughs> it's a straight line. Here in the background, they've even got a, they've even got a drum kit going up there. It's either that or all stomping about. Uh, and this one, there's no plus C there, is there? So it goes through the origin. There. So we've got something for pounds and kilos. So we know that one pound is 2.2 kilos. So we know if I draw a little triangle there, that the gradient is 2.2 over 1. So we know that m is 2.2 over 1. So we're going to have y, which is its weight in pounds, is 2.2x, its weight in kilos. So that's dead straightforward. We've done that at GCSE. Um, so then it says approximately how many kilos on three pounds? So y equals 2.2x. And I want, I've got my y, haven't I? So be careful because, where are we? So y is pounds. So I want to find x. So 3 is 2.2x. 3 over 2.2 is x. So x is approximately 1.36 kilos. It's a free sig fig. There you go. Not too bad, that is it? Right, so then it says interpreting gradients. So you can be asked two things about the gradients. What are the units? So if you look, pounds over kilos, or pounds per kilo, and then interpret it in context. So if you think about the... So this one, so for this example above, it would be pounds per kilo. In terms of the gradient, so it says for every unit of x, so for every one kilo, the, oh, I'm going to slightly change it, there is an increase, oop, is this, is this, it's not good, and up. There is an increase of 2.2 pounds there. There you go. So that's kind of right, isn't it? For every one kilo, there is an increase of 2.2 pounds. You can read my dodgy writing. Right, so that's that first page done. Job, job. Uh, oops. Second one, there's an example. So I've already got five minute videos, so I might stop it there and do this example separately.